Well, hello everybody. Okay, so trying to film and get this hat in the, the frame may be a little bit of a challenge, but you know what? I think we're up to it. Y'all, today is the moment that you've been waiting for. It is my massive, massive Christmas thrift haul. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm really excited. I've been collecting items over this past year and they've all been in this giant Santa sack that I had downstairs and I've hauled them all up here and I cannot wait to show these to you. So I do need to make a little disclaimer. I had a planning error <laughs> and I'm actually recording this video before I start into all of my Christmas decorating and everything. So you may have seen a few of these items in my decorate video. You'll definitely see them in my Christmas home tour coming up. But in case you missed them, I wanted to go over the incredible thrift finds that I found this year. Okay, so before we get started on today's video, I would love to tell y'all about today's sponsor. So let me go ahead and we'll head over into the kitchen and I'll tell you about them there. All right, so I'd like to thank Aura for being the sponsor of today's video. Aura is a Wi-Fi connected digital photo frame that showcases your pictures and your videos. You can add unlimited videos straight from your smartphone using their app. These frames are designed to be super easy to use so that anybody can enjoy them, even your dad who still has a flip phone. So I actually got this for my dad. It's gonna be his Christmas gift this year. My dad is the type of person that if he wants something, he just kind of goes out and gets it. And so even if your parents are like super picky, this is a great option for them for Christmas time. Or if your family lives far away and they're not really into social media, this is a great way to be able to keep up with what you and your family are doing. Everybody who has the Aura Frame loves it. They were voted best digital picture frame by Wirecutter, the strategist, and then they were also selected as one of Oprah's favorite things. Plus they have over 20,000 five-star customer reviews. This frame is so easy to set up and to use on Wi-Fi. You can add photos to your frame from the app or from your camera roll, and you can have unlimited photos that can be added to your frames. This is an easy gift for family. It comes in a giftable box that you can preload photos so it's ready to go when grandma or grandpa opens it. Why take hundreds of photos only for them to get stuck in your group text message or end up like buried in your camera roll? So Aura kindly offered me a promo code to provide for you guys. The partner code is always going to be better than what is offered on the site. So go ahead and use it now if you're gonna be buying for family members soon. This is an exclusive offer and I will put the code below. Get your photos off of your phone and into your life with the Aura connected picture frame. All right, well, let's go ahead and get back to the thrift haul. Starting with this hat. <laughs> okay, usually I take you guys into the thrift store and show you kind of like how I found these things in the wild, but that's not gonna happen, okay? So I've been collecting these things over the past year. Mama ain't got the time to go through the footage, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna eliminate that stressful part. This is gonna be a longer video anyway because there is so much to unpack and show y'all. So let's just go ahead and get this thing rolling and yeah, I can show you what I got. So again, this little hat, I'm so excited. I found it for $1.99 at the thrift store and I just love like a vintage Fair Isle hat. <laughs> what is not to like? It's got these two little reindeer, little snowflake. I was a little bit surprised that I picked it up because I usually stick with like the green and red, but I'm actually going to try to like integrate maybe a little bit more blues and stuff into my decor this year. I just thought it was cute. I can't wait to wear it out this season and I thought y'all should see it. So while we're on the fair aisle theme, I also found this cute little sweater. <laughs> Isn't that precious? It was, oh geez, $2.99 as y'all can see. And it's a size four, which I don't have any four-year-old kids in my house, but I do have a two-year-old and you know, what's not to like about an oversized sweater, right? <laughs> so, you know, I may force her into this this year. So it is L.L. Bean, as you guys can see, it has this cute little brass zipper on the front and it is just everything I love, people. I love Fair Isle so much this time of year. So can't wait to put that kid in this sweatshirt. Next, you guys have probably seen these on the tree already, but this year I found three of these little boxes of these glass Christmas ornaments. At least I'm almost positive that they're glass. During the dark ages, German natives in Northern Bohemia developed a form of glass blowing unique in the 
4,000 year history of this art. <laughs> so we're gonna assume that they're glass. I know with three small kids that this is a dangerous thing to attempt, but you know what, darn it. We're gonna attempt them. So I got three of these, like I said, and they were $1.99 each. Oh, as I dropped them. <laughs> okay, so while I'm dropping glass, let me show you some other glass things that I have. So these I haven't even unwrapped since I bought them, but I found these beautiful glasses. And these are kind of on that Fair Isle theme as well. I actually already have I think six of these glasses, but it's just these sweet little seasons greetings ones. So the ones that I have currently are more of like a short fat version. And I usually just pair them with our amber glass that we have up there now, but I'm excited because this year I can pull down all of the amber glass and then I can put up the like little smaller ones and then I can have these for if we want a little bit more. I wish I could like show you without all of the craziness. Anyway, I'm looking at these now. They definitely need to be cleaned. <laughs> but I believe that I found this set of, I think it's an odd number. I think I was hoping for eight, but I think it's actually seven. And I think I got it for $15, which, you know, isn't like extremely cheap. But when you think about it, I feel like $2 a glass for these vintage glasses is really like, that's not bad at all. So I was so excited. I've been looking for these for years to kind of fill out our collection and I was so excited to find them. So, <laughs> all right, next. Josh is like, why do you buy this stuff? And the answer is, I don't know. I just don't know, but I found this cute little sleigh sled thing. We have some like real size. I think we've got two of these that we use one out on our front porch and we use one inside for decorating. I just think that they're so cute. And like for a vignette or something, I love using these for like stacking. <laughs> Is that too much? I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I actually have a radio flyer one. Maybe I don't need two. I don't know what. I just saw this. I thought it was so cute. What is it? Three? Yeah, three ninety nine. And I mean, it was too cute to pass up. And look, it's got a little thing. Could I hang it from something? Could I hang it from a door? No, that'd be too much. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm sure y'all have probably seen what I've done with it in my decorate video, and I'll just link that here so that if you guys want to go back and see what I'm doing with all this stuff, you can see. Okay, next, I did get this at a thrift store, but I think I thought it was a good, <laughs> good deal. I don't know if it's necessarily a good deal, but it was this cute little berry wreath. Okay, so this was at like a higher end thrift store in Omaha, and this was <sighs> sold for $14.99, right? Which now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably like what the Hobby Lobby price for something like this would be. It does have like an original price on it that says $48. $48? Like <laughs> nobody bought this for $48, people. They're trying to fool us. Don't let anybody fool you. Anyway, so I think maybe I was fooled. <laughs> and I was like, man, it was $48 and now it's $15 at the thrift store. How could I ever pass it up? And so I didn't. So I went ahead and grabbed this, but I thought that it was pretty realistic looking. I love the little red berries. You guys, I have the hardest time pulling back on the red at Christmas time. I really feel like our home looks best with just like hints of red and not just like tons of red overlow. And not just like, <laughs> not just tons of red overload. And so I just felt like this really went with the look and feel that I'm hoping to do for our home. Okay, so the next few pieces that I found were all at a little kind of consignment shop in Springfield, Missouri. It was such a cute little shop and everything was marked at half off. I bought it, this is definitely like last winter if not spring, but it is a little, I guess I could just show you like this. It's a little nativity scene here. And I've told you guys about how I am looking for nativity scenes that are all white or like just white and gold. And listen, I'm not saying that this is like my dream nativity scene, but I'm just saying that the all the other ones that we've found, I've brought home and been so excited about them and then like realized that they're missing baby Jesus or something. And so I truthfully have not figured out if this is missing baby Jesus or not, but I thought that they were pretty cute, super classic, love the white. You know, I think I would prefer like a larger set, but I do like these are small enough that if I were to set them up like in front of our television that they would not be blocking anything. I don't know, sometimes I have a toxic trait of 
collecting a bunch of small things when sometimes my life would just look better if I had like a few larger scale items. I don't know. These are things I'm working through as we speak. Okay, so I could show you all of these, but I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of these. These were listed at $3 a piece. And like I said, everything was 50% off. So if that kind of gives you an idea of the nativity scene, I think the nativity scene might've been $5, but that meant that I got it for $2.50. So these I got for $1.50 and they all look like so, let me look. I think that these are meant to like hang from like a doorknob or something, but listen, I have other plans for these bad boys. So I do love that these are real brass bells. They're definitely more like mid-century, 70s maybe kind of look or whatever, but you can see them here. So I am not a huge fan of the cord. I like struggle with this kind of stuff, right? This is not what I want, but I love having actual brass bells on your Christmas tree. So what I'm planning on doing, and don't hate me for doing this, but I'm actually planning on cutting off all of these bells <laughs> off of all of these cords. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five boxes. So I've got 25 brass bells that I got from these. I'm trying to think if maybe I could do something cool with this brass hoop as well. I don't know. <laughs> I know we already have a bunch of brass pieces on our tree, but I am excited to have more. <laughs> I also got these. I think that these are bigger ones. I believe that these were also listed at three, max $4. So that means that I got them for $1.50 or two dollars and these as you can see are a little bit heftier they're a little bit less obvious that they're like made in the 70s or something the weird thing about them though is that because these are like we I mean, look at this this is like real vintage but these have never been used and so there is a lack of patina which i like a little bit of patina on brass but you know what as we love them over time we'll give them the patina that they need and we'll just cut off all these gold ropes. I did find this little Santa mug. I currently just have the one, and I can't remember where it's from, but it's, it's like a little white, like all white one, and it's not vintage. This one is not vintage either. It says it's from World Market, but I got this at a garage sale this summer, actually. It was 25 cents, and I just thought it was so precious. I know that it's not actually vintage, but I feel like it has that like cute little vintage look. My goal, like my goal is to find a stoneware Santa mug. And I know that people are gonna hate me for saying this, but I actually like the ones that have had like all the paint stripped off of them. So they're just the white. That's like my all time favorite. If I could find something like that, I would just die and go to heaven. But until that day comes, I'll just be rolling along with my wannabe little fake Santa mugs. But I liked this one, I liked this size. I don't love my coffee mugs to be like, enormous and so i thought that this one was perfect all right and next for our kitchen i did find this little towel this was at the same garage sale as that one but look at that is that not the most perfect ticking stripe that you've ever seen i love that it's with this like pretty tan color and you can tell that this is like not new let's see how much this was it, this was just a dollar i always leave everything on so i can remember how much they are so here this is all out it just does not get better, my friends. Let me see if this has a tag on it and where it's from. It says it's 100% cotton by Park Designs. So I don't know what that is. It does have a little um, loop on it, which kind of makes me wonder if it actually is vintage or if it's just made to look vintage. But I love these loops, people. Gotta love a loop. Okay, so this is something that I've been looking for for a long time. And again, this is yet another story of Kristen buys the small version of what she actually wants because she can't afford it. <laughs> But you guys have probably seen these little, I think they're German, right? Like little uh, candle nativity scenes or whatever. So this is what it will ultimately look like. And they make these in huge sizes and they are so expensive. It's literally crazy, but I love them. It just reminds me of a uh, Christmas vacation. I think it's Uncle Eddie who like goes over to touch it and like the entire thing falls apart. I guess I'll pull it out. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Here we go. So here's the bottom part. You can see the little, what are they? Wise men and sheep going around. And then in here, okay, I'll show you. 
here is Mary and Joseph in there and little baby Jesus. So it did come with a couple candles, but they said that you can buy these like at the dollar store even. So I probably will switch out the red for white if I can. And then the whole like spinny thing is in here. But listen, I'm not going to get into all this right now. We ain't got the time. Oh, it looks like the other, the other little candles and stuff are in here too. So don't worry, it's not missing any. <laughs> All right, and next I did find some little sleigh bell, uh, what do you call them? Like stocking holders. I thought that these were really cute. I've always been like a brass and gold person over a silver person, but there is something about this like really heavy duty, like not cheap looking silver. And so I found this stack of these four for $3.99. And I think I'm gonna try them out on the fireplace this year. So hopefully we can bring in just a little bit more mixed metals and so it's not just like all brass all the time over here all right and speaking of mixed metals i did find this cool and i don't know if this is pure or what this is made out of but it is this little serving platter tray thing what is there's some kind of brown liquid on it <laughs> um, you guys can see here that it has these pretty like pine needles and stuff on the inside um, anyway, I know that I've talked to you guys about hosting and hospitality and how we love to have people into our home. We're going to be having Christmas at our house this year, which we're really excited about. We're going to have the whole family come into town and stay with us. That is one of the biggest blessings of this house. I think I told y'all that when we were shopping for houses, we were just looking for a three bedroom just to fit our, our family. Even though we love hosting people, we had just accepted that there was no way that we were ever going to be able to afford a four bedroom house. And then when the Lord brought us this five bedroom farmhouse we literally loaded it up with so many beds as many as we could find and we've told our family members get your tails over here everybody's sleeping over okay <laughs> and so i'm really excited to be able to do that this year hopefully our pipes don't freeze like last year oh but this was a 5.99 i don't know if i said that okay speaking of brass i did find this little uh horn <laughs> it's not a trumpet right no it is a trumpet it's a shofar <laughs> I collected a couple of these last year and they always come with these ropes. And y'all, I'm struggling with the ropes. I don't know what it is. The other ones that I had from last year, I cut the ropes off, but it's also hard to display them without the ropes. This also always happens whenever you try to put them up. Like they, there's no graceful way of displaying these things. So I found this for $3.99. Part of me is like, can I just like shove it in the tree? Is that a thing that I can do? I don't know. Let me know what you guys do with these. I know that some people have said like put them in wreaths or something. Like could I somehow pair it with this? But then how do I get it to stay is the real question. I don't know, that's not bad, right? That's kind of cute. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing over here. So many people are professionals at this and I'm just winging it. Maybe we'll do this. Oh, I'm getting excited for the last thing that I, that I found. Okay, next, pillows, right? So I was at the Goodwill recently and I found these massive ticking stripe pillows. So I don't know if I'm gonna put these on one of our couches. It is a little bit awkward because we've got two couches. So sometimes it's weird to like mix pillows and stuff because it's like if it's on one, should it be on the other? Or should it be all different? Or should they be all the same? I don't even know. Anyway, but I found these for $1.99 and I've told you guys how much I love Ticking Stripe, how it's so sweet for an old farmhouse like this. And I just thought that these were cute. So I figured maybe I could either put them on the couches or maybe I could just put them like on our beds, like in between all of our pillows or like, you know, just like in front of all of our like regular pillows or something. Josh just loves that when I overload the, <laughs> the bed with pillows. We already sleep with so many. Sometimes adding more is like, come on, dude. Oh, but I don't know if these will go with our new sheets that we got. I don't know. We'll figure this out. Oh, and did I say that these were $1.99 and I found two of them, so not bad. Next, I did find this cute little quilted pillow. You can tell it's definitely handmade. There's just a little pillow inside. It's a little bit, the cover's a little bit big for the pillow inside, but I just thought that this was so sweet. Obviously, it was made with love. You can see like the very primitive stitching job that they did, but I love a star quilt. Like what's not to love about this? So I cannot wait to use this in my decorating as well. All right, and lastly, I was so excited about this. So this piece I found recently, I saw it and I thought it was so cool. 
So it is this giant train. It was $9.99, so not like particularly cheap. So I should, I'll show it to you guys at some point. I'll put together. Here, kind of like this. I guess I could just hook it all in right there. Okay, so train, right? I found this and I was like, oh, that's so cool. I love that it's all wood, but wow, it's big. You know, and so I was thinking, man, do I really want to store it? So I was thinking if I put it down by the Christmas tree, whatever I put in it to display is immediately going to be pulled out and there are going to be beanie babies shoved into this thing by some child, in particular, Ivy. She loves all things that like roll. She like has these tra these little wooden trains here that I got from a garage sale that she plays with all the time. She's obsessed with trains and she's obsessed with Beanie Babies. So I had the idea that on Christmas morning, I'm gonna bring on in this train and I'm gonna fill it with Beanie Babies. <laughs> and that's gonna be Ivy's like big Christmas gift. So I just thought that it was so sweet. You see how you can like even fit things inside, on top, all of it. So at first I was like, ah, oh, that's a little bit much, but now I'm like, you know what? No, it's just enough. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that does it for today's huge Christmas thrift haul. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry that I didn't get this out before I did my decorating videos, but um, you know, sometimes that's just the way things work. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please let me know what your favorite item was that I pulled out today. If any of these reminded you of anything that you guys had growing up as well, I love to hear those stories from you guys. And if you're interested, you could consider subscribing. I would love that and it helps out my channel so much. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Merry Christmas.